Oh god, this is like the ninth take. Okay, just get through this. Hi YouTube! Today, I'm going to be printing these things. What are these things? Watch the video to find out! Damn it! As you can see, we've started the print, and all it's going to do, here let me try and get a good view of this for you, is it's going to go, focus, there we go, it's going to go between this spring and the bottom of this bed, and then those tabs are going to rest right on here and hold it all together. Now right now these wonderful paper clips are what's holding it, but as you can see, oh, let me. They hit my new fan shrouds, which is not acceptable. As you can see, there's really not that much of a clearance in the first place. So these are going to be just a tad shorter than these, and they're going to be like way out here. So we won't have anything to worry about. Now I'll let these print, and I'll put them on. Now on, anytime I do a video like this, I'm going to use this format. Because I didn't like having, like, a really big picture, and then this tiny one, and it being, like, overlapping. That, oh, So, we're going to do this. And then when I start showing models, we'll just click on this one, and then we'll all be good. So what I did is, here is where the bolt is going to go through. And then these just kind of go alongside the glass and the build plate. This sticks out pretty far. Uh, I don't think that's going to mess with anything. This is only going on two edges because if you hold like that. I'll get better at this, I swear, guys. If you hold something like that here, I'll, uh, I'll show you. If you hold something, you know, like this, then doesn't really matter. You don't need to hold on to other corners. So even if you hold it like, you know, this, which is pretty close to how it will be, should be fine. It won't be able to slide out like this way or this way. So it'll be so that'll only go on two corners and then later I'm gonna build one for a camera mount to get better time lapses so the whole print isn't doing this the whole time. Alright. This face is gonna be right up to the bottom of the heat plate. And then these two tabs are going to be pinching down on the glass. Uh, this is first go. We're just going to check how well it works. And let's, you know what, I'm not going to show a time lapse. We're just going to get it printed and I'm going to install it. Let's go. Actually, I just want to share something cool about this. This is going to be my first print with this translucent filament. And uh, after it prints, I'm going to try and pass a light under it and see how much it, like, shines and lights up. And if I get something really cool, maybe I'll do, uh, like, a really cool lighting project where I build, like, an LED cluster underneath it and shine light up through it. So we'll see when we get there. But for right now, let's just skip ahead and get to me assembling it. It's alive! <laughs> So sleek. So one of the things you may be wondering, with this design anyway, is will this hold up to the heat of the bed? Short answer, yes. Long answer, yes. Because this plastic does not lose its rigidity, as you would say. It does not start to bow out until about 120 C and the highest I ever run this bed at is at 80. Now over time the repeated heating and cooling, heated and cooling might make it bow out a little bit but this is just a test. This isn't going to be you know long term or anything. So what we're going to focus on when I attach the one that's printed correctly not the one where I have the hole out of place. When I attach it and try it out we're going to see just how well it holds the glass plate and will the head tear this off and will it be able to coast over it or will it be any better 
than the paper clips that currently hold the glass to the heated plate. Now what I'll be doing is I'm going to be taking this bolt out that will drop this bottom piece. I'm going to slide this with this face touching the bottom here in between here and the spring and then I'll thread the bolt back down and hopefully it'll all go as planned. And don't worry I will speed up parts of this where I'm not talking. Doesn't that look pretty? Keeps it right below the level of the glass so when the head comes over it won't hit it. And uh, I'll just have to be mindful of the two prongs. Other than that, it should be good. And like I said, I'll definitely speed this up. So Actually, I don't even need to put this part in here. Sexy, huh? So, as you saw, the uh, bed clip went on pretty easily, had to work it a little bit. I'm sure I can fix that in the next revision. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and print the one for the uh, opposite corner tonight and put it on. I'm going to leave the paper clips on for now. Uh, I'm going to remove one at a time per print until I am completely sure that those new clips will hold, but I have a good, pre pretty good feeling about them. Uh, next upgrade is going to be my Z end stops which control how far down the print head can come. Uh, it kind of wanders a little bit, not much, but it's been enough where it's kind of been pissing me off, so that'll be the next thing I upgrade. Uh, I might even get to it tonight, too. We'll have to see what my plans are. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, enjoy the outro. I'll go ahead and skip the theatrics for this one, guys. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike to dislike it, Tell me in the comments why you like it or dislike it. Press this goddamn subscribe button. If you'd like to subscribe, you know, if you like my content, you should probably just subscribe. Do it already. Please. <laughs> Other than that, have a nice day.